Hello, it's another um, teleprinter video, another, another time, hopefully we'll get some more progress on it, um, as we have done each time. So, uh, uh, if you remember last time, I did lots of, let me open this crate, yes, I did lots of reassembling, or stripping down and cleaning and reassembling of this. Uh, so today, my task is going to be taking all of these bits, and putting them back onto this and then crossing my fingers to see if uh, see if it still works and at the same time uh, Mike and Paul will be getting uh, all of this box of tricks up and running or well moved on at least so Paul's got some soldering to do of the um, ESP 8266 and the kind of uh, H bridge and other circuits and stuff that are going to let us interface to the teleprinter, um, and and then this uh, connector, which I suppose I'll show you this side of it, and I'm probably upside down, but yeah, you know, um, this 25-way connector uh, is going to be the the data connector to the teleprinter. So uh, yeah, once the circuits all set up, then can be wiring it into that to uh, to then move things on. So uh, yeah, we'll crack on and let you know how we get on. Figured I'd give you a quick update from within the uh, CNC room here at Does Liverpool. Uh, so we have a cool CNC router, which um, I have not been using today. But what I have been using is. Uh, drill press um, because this excellent should pick that up in a moment um, yeah it's reassembling this the there is a bearing there which I'll see how well you can see it um, for this for this shaft in the middle to be able to rotate easily so I've repacked those bearings having cleaned them all out last time uh, and there is another bearing inside this metal bearing block um, and basically getting the bearings onto the shaft required some kind of a press and uh, the only thing that was long enough is the drill press so Paul and I managed to get the bottom one in earlier with some judicious kind of positioning of some sockets just to kind of support things in the right way um, to be able to kind of get apply the pressure evenly to just push it in square um, and similarly uh, I've done the, the one at this end as well uh, so that's now in and spinning but it's taken yeah like it <laughs> doesn't look like much has changed because you know I had most of this block beforehand uh, <laughs> but it's now a bit more reassembled uh, and we can move on with the other uh, rest of the reassembly. So that's what I'm going to do next. Another day of not huge amounts to report, um, and and no running machine, as you'll have noticed. Uh, and so yeah, I've I've gotten you know reasonable amount reassembled. I mean, you know, if you look in the box, there's there's a lot less in there than there was at the start of the day, um, and there's a lot more. Kind of on here, uh, the right right now it's it's not quite like this. The type the type hammer seems to be kind of fouling the type head. So I'm yeah, and this is a little bit loose. So I, uh, yeah, I'm basically not 100% happy with with how it's come back together again so far. So rather than assemble more of it, I think we need to do a bit more investigating. And just yeah, running it manually and and just carefully, kind of assembling stuff. It could be, could be some of the control levers when I've been putting those back in. Yeah, not sure. So it's getting late in the day. Seemed like a good point to kind of draw it to a close and then attack it fresh when we're next uh, working on it. And whilst I've been doing that, Paul has been uh, busy soldering. So yeah. what have you been up to, Paul? Making the replacement board, this one. Uh, this is the 
one we used previously, uh, ESP8266 was a big one, but we couldn't connect the external antenna. Uh, and we had these screw terminals at the side. So the difference now is that uh, this one's got the Molex connectors uh, and a, uh, this is a, is a, like a, a, a buffer gate, I suppose. Right. Uh, where the uh, keyboard and the send receive state can be read in from the okay yes yeah, so that's kind of yeah. input into yeah. the ESP and then and the connector to output to the um, electromagnet for the right for the printer uh, and the same H bridge sits on top as it always did mm -hmm. goes over slots in there uh, that's where the uh, this this chip fits in. Okay. Uh, that's the uh, input key. Just managed to cram in the uh, resistors down the side. Nice. And uh, soldered it up. Cool. Uh, same, same kind of thing. Just right. A little bit more for the. Nice. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So that's where we are with that. Uh, and Mike has had to head out for a bit, um, but I think he's been yeah working on the the D connector and working out that we could do with finding some uh, multi-core cable that he can use to wire things up. Uh, we've got some multi-core cable in, but it actually is far too excessive. It has too many wires in it. Uh, so yeah, we need to get some more cable for that um, and we'll get back to that next time. So thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, and we will catch you on the next one.